What's going on everybody? Sparks Comics here, your Marvel and Indie comic collector. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a product review of Comic Clear Boards. So please, after you do the intro, stick around. We're going to check these boards out. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be doing a review of Comic Clear boards today. These are the current boards that I bought. They also sell them in the silver and golden age uh, size versions. So any size for any type of comic that you're trying to, um, to protect. The way they describe them on the paper is a crystal clear backing board, archival PET plastic, twice as thick as standard backing boards and a protective film to ensure boards are scratch free. And so because we have that uh, protecting film here, they say you need to use some tape and use that to pull off the protected uh, film. So we're gonna try that out. All right, seems pretty Pretty straightforward. Now I gotta find where I put my tape to get another piece. There it is. So, piece on the one side and a piece on the other. I feel like I should be doing this with gloves on because that is crystal clear there. So this is the board without the film on it. Um, it is pretty solid on the corners. So for me, that means uh, if a comic was dropped, it's gonna be protected. It's not as thick as you would get from a, uh, a fullback, but it's pretty thick and pretty sturdy. So I've got some Mylar here. I'm gonna throw this into a mylar, my light, um, maybe. So bagged and boarded together, pretty good combination there. I figured we got to clear back. We want to look at something cool in one of these, right? So I have um, Venom 25 here that I think is gonna look excellent in one of these bags. So let's try this out. All right, so front and back, that's pretty cool. Um, so I could, um, easily display front or back, depending on which side of this uh, wraparound cover. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I probably want to put some clear tape on the back though, instead of using the painter's tape that I've been using lately. Uh, otherwise that would look a little weird. Uh, but otherwise that's pretty cool. Now, uh, looking at, you know, if I were to drop this, does it, you know, seem like it would protect. This is probably a bad example because this is a little bit of a bigger sized book, but um, yeah, there we go. If it's sitting in here right, um, it does cover the full length like it should. Uh, now, flexibility wise, I've got um, full back here with Venom 25. I can't, can't really, um, bend it in half. Uh, I can kind of bend it this way a little. A um, little bit of give that way, but pretty solid um, otherwise. But the downside is you don't see the rest of the wraparound cover. Um, 
flexibility here. This is just, this kind of board is given some protection, but not a lot. Um, these are usually my standard type of bags that I'll use, bags and boards, uh, for everyday pickups, things you're not trying to necessarily really protect. Um, I'll use the fullbacks more so, or halfbacks even, for the ones that I want to protect a little bit better. Um, but this, honestly, this looks, um, this looks pretty good. I'm... I really wasn't sure what to think, so I just bought one pack of these uh, because you never know with a new product like this um, what the result's going to be. But these, uh, honestly, I think I think I like these. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, definitely going to use them in a situation like this, or if there's. Um, one of those other books that I want to protect really well and it's older and you want to, you know, see, sometimes you want to see those like weird old ads that are on the back of the comics. And so I think that would be another time I would consider using these boards. Not going to use them for everyday stuff because I don't think that's uh, a good use for them. Uh, I think those types of comics don't need that extra protection or uh, that special uh, view window of the back because a lot of those newer ones just have these really boring ads on the back that are the same ad over and over and over again. So I wouldn't want to use it on those. Uh, but overall, I, I think I'd recommend using these boards um, for kind of almost a little bit for the novelty of this, uh, this window on the back. We don't have another board like this. So I think that would be one reason to use it. Um, and I, I think they're pretty sturdy. Uh, I honestly do like the sturdiness of these boards. So just to kind of wrap that up, I no sponsorship by them to, to do this review for you guys. So this was me buying the boards. Um, they were about $25. Uh, for a pack of 25 of them. I think maybe $30 at most um, shipping in there too. So $25, $30 for a pack of 25. So again, not gonna wanna use these on your everyday uh, comics because they're a little bit more expensive. Uh, I don't know if they still have the deal running, but they had a deal where you bought four of the packs and you'd get uh, one of those four for free. So buy three, get one free. Uh, I almost did that, but I didn't want to spend that much and then end up not liking them. So I may go back and do that now. So you get a hundred of them for the price of 75 of them. That's a pretty good deal. Um, if they see this video and want to, you know, give me a discount code, that would be awesome. And I could put that in the description, but, uh, I doubt that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so I, I kind of like these as something new. I uh, figured I should do some product reviews, maybe some uh, talking about how I store my comics. Uh, another one I'd be interested in trying out are the comic barricades, uh, but my short boxes get a little full, so I wouldn't use them very much. Um, so what I need to do is get more short boxes before I would consider using those. Um, I do want to talk about the BCW um, solid plastic bins too. I think those are uh, a useful thing in my collection. I keep looking over here because I see one or two of them. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna do some more product review kind of things in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and always remember guys, collect what you love. I'll see you guys next time.